Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And God the Spirit. Amen. Praise to the Father God of God. Yes. Praise to the God of Bible. As it is only the God of Bible who loved mankind so much. Yeah. And he did something about it. When he saw men and women choose to go their own way. Yeah. God bring them the solution. Solution of cross. Amen. Cross of Christ. He came down to die for you and I. Bible tells us as men and women who are made in the image of God decided to take the different road. They decided to sin against God. Mm -hmm. They decided to sin against one another and the creation. They break the image of God. Separation took place between holy God and sinful men and women. Yep. God throughout centuries communicated his word and his message by telling he has the solution. He has the solution to the sinful of mankind. Amen. As Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross, we see men and women who repented to the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, who fixed their eyes to the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. are made right with Holy God. Through Jesus. Gives us the eternal life. As Lord Jesus gives us eternal life, one of the way we express you can pray brother I can pray on the streets I can pray in my bedroom I can pray anywhere that I like to pray because Jesus Christ never gave us a direction Jesus said when you pray Jesus pray Christ like this is our direction. Jesus Christ is our direction and he gave us a template on how to pray in Matthew chapter 6 our father in heaven holy is your name so he never told us to pray in a certain direction but Jesus himself becomes the direction because he's the way, the truth, and the life. It's, it's, Amen. It is Jesus who is the direction of our prayer. Amen. It's, it is Jesus who is the location of our prayer. Yes. And he, it is Jesus who is the time of our prayer. So we don't have set of time of times of prayer. We don't have set of direction. Yep. And we don't have set of words. So we talk to our heavenly Father. Anywhere. And we talk with our earthly Father. Yep. We talk to our heavenly Father with acknowledging what His Son did on the cross for mankind. Amen. Yet today, 1.84 billion Muslims are praying five times a day. In to one direction. And to the similar, similar um, verses, similar chapters, every prayer. Yeah. Five times a day, one location, same thing. Yes. So. Where are the Muslims? And we know, we know, as Muslims try to fix their location, we know Quran and Islamic tradition tells us that location is not everywhere. So where is that location? The location is in Mecca. No. Unfortunately. So we look at the we look at the Islamic tradition. First we look at the Quran. In we Surah see, 2. We see as Muhammad started having his revelation, there was a location which we don't know where it was. But in 624, all Muslims, all wise Allah steps in and then gives people location. Yeah, in Al Masjid Al Haram. So let's see what does the eternal word of Allah tell us. We go to Surah 2, verse 142 to 150. Would you like to read it, brother? I'll read the part that. No, we, let's let's start. You see. Okay, from 142, yeah. Yeah. 
the foolish among the people will say, what has turned them away from their Qibla, which they used to face? Say to Allah, belongs the East and the West. He guides whom he wills to a straight path. And thus we have made you a just community that you will be witnesses over the people and the messenger will be a witness over you. And we did not make the Qibla which you used to face except that we might make evident who would follow the messenger from who would turn back on his heels. And indeed it is difficult except for those whom Allah has guided and never would Allah have caused you to lose your faith. Indeed Allah is to the people kind and merciful. We have certainly seen the turning of your face, O Muhammad, toward the heaven and we will surely turn you to the Qibla which will please you. Continue. So this is in Surah 2 again. So turn your face toward Al Masjid Al Haram and wherever you are, turn your face toward it in prayer. Indeed, those who have been given the scripture will well know that it is the truth from their Lord. And Allah is not unaware of what they do. And if you broke to those who were given the scripture, every sign they will not follow your Qibla. Nor will you be a follower of their Qibla. Nor would they be followers of one another's Qibla. So if you were to follow their desires after what has come to you, the knowledge, indeed you would then be among the wrongdoers. Those to whom we gave the scripture know him as they know their own sons. But indeed a party of them conceal the truth while they know it. The truth is from your Lord, so never be among the doubters. So race to what is good wherever you may be. Allah will bring you forth all together. Indeed, Allah will bring, Allah knows all things. So from where, wherever you go out, prayer, you face towards the Al Masjid Al Haram. And from wherever you go out, turn your face toward again to Al Masjid Al Haram. That was Surah 2, verse 144. Long one, yeah. To 150. Yeah. There are lots of, lots of problems with this chapter. First of all, Quran is identified as the eternal word of Allah. It is a speech of Allah. Yet, when you start reading from Surah 2, verse 142, you will be asking the question. Here or not. But that's not the topic. That's not the topic. From this message we see, Allah gives a the, look, direction for the prayer. Yep. People were facing their prayer towards somewhere else. We don't know where it is. And now Allah says, praise to Al Masjid Al Haram. Yeah. And what does that mean? That's a, a place of forbidden. Yeah. So, according to Islamic tradition, people were praying towards Jerusalem, and then Allah stepped in 624 to please Muhammad. Allah stepped in to please Muhammad, wow. and then gives them another direction for the prayer. So that means Muhammad is equal to Allah? No, Muhammad is higher than Allah. Because higher than Allah, Muhammad. that's even worse. It is Allah who is pleasing Muhammad. Yes, are you a Muslim, all sir? Allah. You're not Muslim, all okay. All wise and all clever, all of the like, attributes he must have, yes. he wants to use this to please a man. And not only man, a simple man. But this is the work of Allah. We cannot judge that, of course. Yes. And again, when we come to the verse 145, we question the knowledge of Allah as He says, if your desire is to follow them. What happened is all knowing, all loving Allah is that's a different topic. Anyway. So, as in Surah 2, verse 142 to 115, they were given, Muslims were given the direction for the 
prayer. Yep. Today that spot is identified as Kaaba in Mecca. And we know according to Islamic tradition, Muhammad received his revelation in 610. Yep. And when was the surah? Two verse, uh, this chapter is revealed, brother. This verse is revealed. 624. So, from 6 624. So this one was revealed years, 14 years after he received first revelation. First revelation, yeah. So, for 14 years, Muhammad was trying to build a bridge and then follow the directions Muslim? of follow the directions of the people of the book. When he moved to Medina, we know he was praying the way Jewish people were praying. Yeah. 624. Allah steps in and then tells Muhammad to please Muhammad from now on change the direction of the prayer. Turn towards Kaaba. Here's the problem. In 624, Kaaba was the place of idol worshiping. 360 idols in Kaaba, 624. Allah has no problem with that to telling Muhammad and whole Muslim community to pray to this spot where 360 idols are present. Worshipped. Worshipped before Islam. Yeah. What does it tell you about Allah? Allah doesn't know. Allah is very ignorant. Why did Allah, as a Muslim, why did Allah do that? If you're comfortable, you can answer it. Why did Allah say to face the Al Machid Al Haram? You don't know? So, why do you think Allah is asking Muslims to pray a place where 360 idols are being worshipped? 624. Allah, why are Muslim tells us? Committing shirk is one of the sin Allah will never forgive. Come and answer. You're a Muslim, Yet right? Come. It is the sin Allah scared. encourages Muhammad and encourages Muslims to right. pray, to pray the place of idols. Not only one idol, but no, no. 360 I'll talk to you after. Thanks, thanks. idols. 360 idols. As Allah encourages Muhammad, and Muslims to commit shirk for how long? Six years. How six years? So until 6.30, that's when the idols were destroyed. So, 365 times six? I have no a idea. My math is not good. <laughs> that's a lot of days times five prayers a day. A lot of, a lot of prayers. Muhammad and early Muslims spend their time to commit shirk with the encouragement of Allah by turning their face to the locations where yes. idols are, when you, were being worshipped at that time. When you Six pray. Years, 365 days and five prayers a day. And that's, that's a lot. lot of shirk. That's a lot of shirk. When you pray, do you face Mecca? Yeah? Why? Do you know why you face Mecca? Yeah, just speak up a bit louder, yeah. It's a holy place. Yeah? It's called the house of God. The prophet built this house. It's a holy place, yeah? That's it, yeah? And it's house of God. But are you commanded to face Mecca from the Quran? Does it say in the Quran, face Mecca? Does it? Are you sure? So we got the Quran here. The Quran here, and in this Quran, it doesn't say face Mecca. Face Mecca. It doesn't say that. Okay, so it's not in the Quran. Yeah. Maybe if it's in another Quran, that's fine. But it's not in this Quran. So Muhammad, according to you, Muhammad told people that. What is your reference for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but as a Muslim, if you're facing one direction to pray, you should know why and you should know the sources. Because you can't be doing something without knowing it. So, as Muhammad was told, 
to change the direction of the prayer. And now you are telling us, you are telling us, that is the place of Mecca, power, in the time of Muhammad. While he was in Medina, yeah. there were 600, 360 idols in Kaaba. Did you know that? While Muhammad was, while Muhammad was turning his face and praying those idols. Do you think that's right? What God did to Muhammad, say, first face Mecca, where there is 360 idols being worshipped at the time, and Allah commanded Muhammad to do that. Do you Excuse think me. that's right? Hold on. It's not Allah commanded Muhammad. Well, Muhammad. Muhammad was willing to. Yes. And he was dying to practice that. Yeah, do you think it's right? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Sorry? Muhammad built the Kaaba. So, before, according to your prophet, Solomon, yeah? Muhammad built that Kaaba. According to the Islamic tradition, it's Abraham and Ishmael. According to his story, Abraham and Ishmael never ever. They never Mecca. went to Mecca. But that's a different topic. That's, that's a, a different topic, topic yeah. What is your evidence? What is your evidence that Muhammad faced the Kaaba as the direction of the Qibla? So, do you What's have the evidence? evidence? Okay, Abraham lived no. 2,000 years, not 2,000 years, 1,500 1, yeah, years. Not 2,000, yeah, 1,500 years. 2,600 years before Muhammad. Abraham oh, Muhammad, lived yes, yes. 2,600 years before Muhammad. Yeah. So, my question is to you, is in 624, Muhammad was supposed to turn his face to Mecca, to Kaaba, yeah. where the idols are there. Idols are there. What is your evidence that Muhammad did that? How do you know Muhammad did not turn his face to England? Jerusalem. Yeah, for six years. But when did he break the idol? When did he break it? No, but for the first six years, the idols were there, present, from 624 to 630. So why did he let the idols stay there for six years while Islam is growing? You should break it right there in the beginning. If being an idol worship is, is being a shirk, for example. So Muhammad allowed for the idol to stay there for six years, and then he broke it. Yeah, but the reason he did it. Whole world was worshipping the pagan gods, and it wasn't easy for Muhammad to get rid of it. Sir, that doesn't even happen on the coronation street. You know why? It is Muhammad who thinks he can get away divorcing his daughter's son in law. Adopted son, sorry. And then marry his daughter in law. Muhammad thinks he can get away with lots of things. Muhammad didn't even bother to question Allah while he questioned Allah in lots of lots of things. Yep. Such as fifth, from fifth prayer to, to five, five prayer. prayer. He questioned God, but he never thought he could question God when God told him, shirk, do not commit shirk, while God was telling him, commit shirk, worshipping 360 gods in Mecca. Muhammad didn't have that power. That doesn't even happen. You understand? Yeah. So what is your evidence? What is your evidence that Muhammad Muhammad's Qibla was Mecca. Did Muhammad face Mecca in his prayer? Where are you from? Huh? Yeah, exactly. What is your evidence for that? Where are you from? You don't know, okay. Where are you from? It doesn't 
Let's make up. Hey, have you been to the Middle East? Okay. Do you know where is this place? Where is this place? Where is it? So it's in Medina, in Saudi Arabia. Okay? So this is built, okay, one year before Muhammad received his revelation. So it's called Mosque of, Mosque of Prophet. Okay? Built in 623, while Muhammad received the revelation, 624 regarding the Qibla. We don't know where this mosque is facing. Okay? Do you, have you been to this place? Do you know where is this place, this mosque is? This mosque is in Medina, again in Saudi Arabia. It is built two years after Muhammad received the revelation that people need to turn towards Mecca. You know what is most amazing about this mosque? This mosque does not face to Mecca. It is the mosque in Medina does not face to Mecca while it is built only two years after See, Allah told him. And Muhammad was still alive. To turn his face to Mecca. Exactly. So, this is the second mosque and proves that no, no, Qibla, Qibla, yeah, so the Qibla, the Qibla is to Mecca, right? Qibla is supposed to be towards Mecca. No, no, it's not about the building. It's about so direction the, to prayer. It's about the Qibla of that mosque. Qibla of that mosque does not face to Mecca. While it's supposed to face to Mecca, because remember, Allah wanted to please Muhammad. Allah changed the direction of prayer to Mecca. This mosque is built only two years after Muhammad received this revelation, but it is not to Mecca. So far, we don't know if Muhammad faced to Mecca. I'm trying to say, so far, those two most prove that probably Muhammad never faced the Mecca if he's been to this and this is. It was such so whole face in the Qibla is not a big issue according to Muslims. But it was a big issue according to Allah. How do we know this brother? Because of the Quran. Yeah, in Surah 2. What we just read in Surah 2. It says that you need to face the Al Masjid Al Haram. Where is that? Wherever you go out for prayer, you need to face the Kaaba. That's what the Islamic tradition is telling. Yes. If it was a big deal, Allah wouldn't change the direction of the prayer in the first place. It was a big deal and Allah wanted to meet up the desires of Muhammad. Here's another mosque. It is built in Yemen three years after Muhammad received the revelation of the direction of the prayer. And we don't know. And we don't know if it is. Those arrows are shot. So, the Qibla, sir. We're talking about Qibla here. Sorry? I just read the Quran for you. So, okay. Gibson, she, okay, she's explaining. She's explaining it to you. So, today, people have the com what is that a compass. Today, people have a compass. They can figure out where is the direction of the prayer. Okay? If you come to, if you make it. So, We're trying to those prove. Those diagrams are showing where is the direction of the prayer and where is that coordinate goes to. It shows. Why? Why? No, 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 no. The whose whole building. The coordinates. We have the coordinates. 
Yeah, yeah later, later. later. Whatever your brother's getting today. Okay, oh, once I calm down, I'll take it. Whatever your brother's getting today. Alright, I'll talk to you once I calm down. Don't you pray today? Can't see No problem. Read it, you read it then. You keep it, not me. So today you've got no. a compass. You've got ups on your phone. You can just check it out. And while you are in the mosque, in the mosque you've got the, what is that thing called? In the, niche. the niche. Niche. You've got the niche, niche in the mosque. So you can look at those. And then mosque is already telling you. Mosque is already telling you. That is the direction of the Kaaba. The Qibla, the Qibla. Okay? In the Qibla, yes, direction of the Qibla. <laughs> so when you put those together, when you put those together, what we see is in early time of Islam, Muslims did not face the Do you understand? Do you understand now? You don't understand? Oh no. Lord. <laughs> We've got so many here, so we can't even get through to them. Explain it to you again. What don't you understand? Jamal. Is it Jamal your name? What's your name again? Muhammad. No, 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 no. It was someone else. No, you said someone else earlier on. I don't understand what the arrows of Gibson How you got this evidence? So, there is a man called Dan Gibson. Do you know Dan Gibson? No, no. So he okay. did research. It is shame that you don't know who someone looks up, looks out for the soul of Muslims. He looked at the early mosques. He visited most of them, most of the mosques. He couldn't go to the one in Mecca and in Medina. Is it more than sixty? Sixty-five. Yeah. He couldn't go to the ones in Mecca and in Medina because he's not a Muslim. He went to those mosques and then he found out where is the direction of the prayer. Me as a Muslim, do you understand? This issue, I've never heard of it before. Yeah, because you've never heard of it before. Of course, of course you didn't hear it. That's why we step in and then we tell you. Me as a Muslim, I grew up in Muslim. It's a shame. Never, if you I'm grew up as a Muslim and you never question. Exactly, that's why we're stepping in. Muhammad, Muhammad, that's why we're stepping in to tell you what you never heard. It's first time you're hearing it. There's always a first time for everything. This is number one. You got more. Okay. This is the mosque in China. It is built approximately three years after Allah gave the direction of the prayer to Muhammad. Yeah. And what we see is, so if, if direction of the Qibla was correct, then it would be the blue light. It would take us to Mecca. But what we see is direction of the Qibla of this mosque in China is not facing to Mecca. Which tells us, which tells us Muslims in 7th century, in 620s, who used the mosque in China, they did come. not, they did not come, come closer. pay towards Mecca. Come. Why are Allah not. told he wanted to please Muhammad? Exactly. Come and expose our lies. If we're a liar. Hello? Exactly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, next one. Is there another mosque? Is there another mosque in India? In the Bible. It is built at the time of Muhammad. And we see from India. Muslims in 7th century, 627, were not praying towards Mecca. They missed the direction approximately 75%. As Allah wanted to please Muhammad and gave him the direction of the prayer towards Mecca, but in India, at the life of Muhammad's time, Muslims did not face towards Mecca. Mecca. Hello, why do you face Mecca in your prayer? I don't know. You don't know? As a Muslim, you don't know what you're doing? I'm a liar. Can you expose my lies? Why do you face Mecca? He doesn't know. Okay, let's continue. It's a shame, it's a shame that a Muslim doesn't know why he's facing Mecca and he's calling me a liar. And he's doing that five times a day. You're doing it five times a day. 
and you and don't know why you're doing it. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. And I think, I think you're trying to joke, but I think you are being serious. You don't know why. No, I don't need that. They don't need Oscar. What we need is actually what more Jesus needs it is your soul. Exactly. He wants you to repent and, and accept him. To Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he's asking to you, sir. Not, not Oscar. So another mosque, which is in Syria, built. Syria. Syria. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which is built? Which is built? Thirteen years after Muhammad received the revelation of the direction of the Qibla. Why the little prince is bigger? Sadly, it shows us. Come here. In Syria. Come here. Was not facing towards Mecca. While Muhammad, 624, received the revelation that people need to face towards Mecca. It's a shame. How many do you have, Hatu? Come closer and dialogue theologically, if you can. Another mosque in Egypt built in the time of the caliphs, built in the time of Umar. Mm -hmm. Yet it's in Egypt and it is not facing towards Mecca. 826. Eight, Sorry, 620, 642. 642. So, it is nearly 20 years after Muhammad received this revelation, but Muslims in Egypt supposed to pray towards Mecca while they are not Allah facing Mecca. Them. It's not facing Mecca. Yeah, while they are not facing Mecca, yeah. yeah. While Allah wants to please Muhammad, it seems early Muslims in Egypt did not want to please Muhammad and Allah, therefore they face different direction. It's, it's a shame, it's a shame with these Muslims. They don't know Another anything. Another mosque in Jordan. Are you a Muslim, sir? You're Muslim. Another mosque in Jordan. Huh? You would expect this is end of 7th century. You would expect by that time all the community come together and join in with Allah to please Muhammad and face towards Mecca. But what this is, amazing. They're not facing Mecca again. End of 7th century. Still, Muslims are not praying towards Mecca. Sad. Why? 2018, 1.84 million Muslims are trying to turn their face towards Mecca. Mm. Yet, since Muhammad didn't do that, yet, since early Muslims didn't do that, but in somehow, in somehow, it becomes essential for today's Muslims turn to Mecca. And it, remember, it was important for Allah because Allah changed the direction of the prayer. The Qibla. But Muhammad, early Muslims in 7th century, does not look like they face towards Mecca. People in China, people in India, people in Jordan, and people in Egypt, people in Medina, people in Mecca, they did not face towards Kaaba. So Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad is the moral compass for Muslims. Yeah? And if he hasn't faced Mecca, why do Muslims, why do Muslims face to Mecca? Why? Hello, why do you face Mecca if Muhammad didn't face it? You don't have any answer. Are you a Muslim? Don't, don't you think that's funny? Don't you think that's funny and heartbreaking? Yeah. Muslims, today as they pray five times a day, they do not even take the topic seriously. They don't take it, yeah. If you are praying the wrong direction,
Kitchen. Is all going on what going to know your prayer? No. Is all going on what? Going to hear your prayer? Can you miss the direction? Those are the questions. Of course, answer is no. Another example. Most in Jordan. Beginning of eight something. Shops, Muslims were not praying towards Mecca. Seven or five. Most in Yemen. Shops up. Muslims were not praying towards Mecca. Why? Nearly eight years ago before that, Allah told Muslims to change the direction of the prayer. Seven or six. In Israel, people are not praying towards Mecca. Seven or eight. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. So stop talking. People in Iran. Come closer. Your budget. Your budget. People come closer. Stop hiding behind the camera. So wait, wait, wait. It's funny. It's funny that we're talking about Islam, but you're talking about our personal, our personal things. So you can't take criticism. That's what it is. Muslims cannot take criticism because you can't handle it. All right. Any Muslims here? Any Muslims here know why they're facing Mecca? You're Muslims. Why do you face Mecca in your prayer? You don't know? You don't? That's fine. That's fine. At least you're not mocking like him. Do you know why you're facing Mecca when you pray? Yeah, I know. Why do you face Mecca when you're praying? Why? It wasn't always Mecca. But did Muhammad, did Muhammad face Mecca? No. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so you're right, you're right. Everything you're saying is right. So why do you face Mecca if your prophet never faced Mecca? But he never faced Mecca. Muhammad never faced Mecca. In his time, we've been showing mosque after mosque that no mosque in his time was facing Mecca. He himself, we don't have evidence that he faced Mecca. The Qibla, he never faced Mecca. Why do you do it? It's a simple question. Are you a Muslim? Because they cannot talk about their own religion. Are you a Muslim? We're interested because you are a Muslim and you're facing, you're, you're following a false God. I'm answering your question. Listen, I am interested in this because you follow a false God, a false prophet, and we believe that you are victims of Islam and you need to come to Jesus. That's why we're doing it. Do you understand now? Yes or no? Oh, you don't understand, of course. The reason we are looking at them because because Islam, because Islam is a dangerous idol. And why you believe is false? And destroys humankind. Yeah. It is. It is because Islam is dangerous. No, no, Islam is bad. It's bad. Leave Islam quick. Sorry? Where did the Muslim used to face? Do you know it? Before Mecca. Before Mecca. Is it Jerusalem or Petra? Don't ask me. You said it. You're telling me we are wrong. Tell me I'm not the Muslim. Because you never studied nothing. Go and study and then come back. I didn't study it. No, you need to study yourself. Okay, all right. Okay, sir. Wait, wait, wait. You need to know yourself first before you judge other people. Why? Make yourself first right. No problem. You're right. You're right. So why did the Qibla change? Why did the Qibla change? So you don't have answers. All you, all you got to say. What, okay, answer the question then. It's very sad. Another Muslim. Very sad. No answer. But just rhetoric. Yes. It's not a sad. It breaks the heart of God. Yes, it does. When Jesus looks down and dances, his sins are being ignorant about the truth. Lord Jesus looks down and sees.
breaks his heart, exactly. is you try to justify the false teaching. So why are you swearing? Why are you swearing? You didn't lie. You didn't lie. Do you know why? You said, you, exactly. He's being personal. How do you know I'm getting paid? You, you said, but you said we're getting paid. He's getting paid. That's what he's saying. But you are being personal because we are exposing your religion. Your religion. Your religion. The reason why you're personal is because you don't, you can't handle it. You're embarrassing yourself. Brother, You're embarrassing yourself. He is the issue. Your filthy mouth. Your filthy mouth. Look at his mouth. Look at his mouth. Swearing, cussing. And this is Ramadan. Look at his mouth. Allah doesn't love you, Johnny. Ramadan, why are you this Are you fasting? Yes. Are you fasting? That's the hurry for you. Get out of here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this is what happens in Ramadan. They go crazy. This is the height of their craziness. Because they can't, they're not eating. This is how they do it. Yeah, that's the fruit. Filthy language. That's what he has. And you know, Allah doesn't love those kind of Muslims. Your eternity is already shit. Your eternity doesn't exist actually. But your standards are already shit. Allah doesn't love you. Allah doesn't bother you. Can you answer questions instead of being personal? So, Any a Muslims? Because that guy cannot answer. This guy has a filthy mouth. Some Muslims, they were okay actually. Some of them, they can talk, but some of them don't say no. There you go. You've embarrassed yourself publicly. You've embarrassed yourself publicly. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Otherwise, you're going to hell, sir. What do you want to say? Muslims are following the false god. Muslims are requested to turn the orders to turn their face to make God join in their prayer. What point is the four Muslims does that five times a day? That's a lot of calculation going on. Exactly, five times a day. But the question is, is the direction of the Sharia has this neighbor is not Jewish. And I'm not reasoning that because. He wants to please Muhammad. The question is, did Muhammad ever turn towards Mecca? Answer is, there is no any archaeological evidence tells us. Did early Muslims turn their Qibla towards Mecca? Nope. We looked at some of the walls and it tells us, no. Why? Early Muslims never turned towards Mecca. Why? Muhammad never turned towards Mecca. Why? For, for rightly guided caliphs. Probably never turned towards Mecca. We don't have the evidence. That's the problem. Why do you turn towards Mecca? Are you a Muslim? Why do you turn to Mecca when you're praying? So you tell us in English that you don't speak English. That's sir, fine. sir, do you understand what I said? Why do you face Mecca when you're praying? <coughs> it's a simple question. Why do you face Mecca when you're praying? When you're doing your salat? Sorry, sorry. The Al Masjid Al Haram. There, yeah. Did Muhammad face Mecca when he's praying? At his time, did Muhammad do it? Muhammad, your prophet, did he face Mecca when he did it? You don't know? You don't understand or you don't know? Muhammad, you know Muhammad? Did he, did he, face, did he face Mecca? 
When he was doing his salat, did he face the, the Kaaba? Did he face the Kaaba when he prayed? Do you have evidence of that? Do you have evidence that Muhammad faced the Kaaba? Yeah, do you, does the Quran say it? Where? We've got the Quran here, show us. Which, uh, no, 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 Mecca, 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 not Al Masjid. Al Masjid is anywhere, man. Al Masjid Haram. Yeah, that's not Mecca, though. Al Masjid Al Haram is not Mecca. No. Uh, it's funny, guys. Let's, let's just summarize. Let's just summarize. Let's summarize, yes. Quran tells Muslims and it has been inter, inter, interpreted that through Surah to Muslims, direction of the prayer for Muslims has been changed in 624. From? From Jerusalem to Mecca. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Today, 1.84 billion Muslims must practice that joining the year five times a prayer. Five times a day. And as we look at the uh, Quran, we see the reason for the change of direction because Allah wanted to please Muhammad. And you would expect that Muhammad is a prophet who's supposed to be the best example to mankind. Turn towards Mecca. But we don't have any archaeological evidence tells us direction of the direction of the Qibla for Muhammad and the 7th century. All 7th century was the Kaaba. Yeah. What it that? It was somewhere else. But today, Muslims do pray towards Mecca. Which goes against the practice of Muhammad. Which way? Which goes against the order of Allah and that clearly tells us that clearly tells us Allah is not that Where? Where do you turn? To Mecca. Where is that Where is that Where is that Where is your source? Where is your source? Oh, good. You go read. Can you give us a source? Yes, you Madam, 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 can you just answer the question? Yeah, answer the question. Okay, why do you face Mecca? Why do you face Mecca when you're praying? Yeah, I did, I just did. I asked you, you're praying towards Mecca. I'm talking about your prayer. So a prayer is not important, yeah? Very interesting. So, we have a Muslim who is very proud no. of being Muslim, but cannot answer what is her source that she is supposed to turn yeah. towards Mecca. So, why do you, why do you go personal? Why do you go personal? Why do you go personal when you can't answer questions? We didn't judge you. We asked you why do you face Mecca in your prayer? Answer the question. So, he is the bottom line. Muslim who is very proud of It's embarrassing, it's embarrassing, you know that. Doesn't even know you should be embarrassed. She does not her prayer direction to Mecca. Is it? Is it? Do you have the source? Do you have the source? Do you have the source? Okay, you can be passionate. Can you give us the source? Wait, wait, wait. Can you give us the source? Islam. You're lying. <laughs> It's have you read have you read what Muhammad did to black people? Have you read what he did? 
He had black slaves. Did you know that? Muhammad was a white prophet with black slaves. He was a racist man. Did you know that? This is in your own sources. No, you don't like it. I'm not judging you. We're talking about Muhammad. So let's just summarize, brother. Surah 2. Yes, Surah 2. 150. Yep. Tells us Allah wanted to please Muhammad. Therefore, he changed the direction of the prayer from somewhere to somewhere. Islamic tradition tells us that took place in 624. Mosque after mosque. <laughs> mosque after mosque. Mosque after mosque. Do you hate the Jews? Mosque after mosque. Do you hate the Jews? Mosque after mosque. 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 May Lord Jesus Christ bless you, even though we know the language you use towards us doesn't give Allah any loving heart towards you. Exactly. But my Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for you, will bless you and bring you back to Amen. Him. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Jesus mosque, loves them. Mosque after mosque, they are not facing Mecca. We got so Allah many here. Wanted to please Muhammad, but Muhammad didn't enjoy that policeman. Seven Sunday mosques, yet none of them are facing towards Mecca. None of them. What is it? Yet 1.84 billion Muslims Read it. are Read turning it. their face Read it. towards turning their one of them, yeah. Towards Mecca because, because that's what they believe the prophet did. But he didn't. But he didn't. Unfortunately. He didn't. We don't have this kind of problem in Christianity. Jesus said, when you pray, pray like this. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive our sinners do not lead us into a temptation but deliver us from all kinds of evil ones forever and ever amen that is how he told us to pray we don't need to face a certain direction to a certain black stone to actually pray we can pray anywhere anytime so reject Islam, all Muslims, and come to Jesus, who's the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, brother.